will do everything in our power uh, to put the gang members uh, where they belong. The program within LAPD was an unfunded program. The, the chief at the time, Darrell Gates, didn't like to wait uh, for the city budgetary process to catch up with, with his endeavors and visions. Uh, so there was an organization formed called the Crime Prevention Advisory Council which was a lot of well-intended, uh, well-to-do uh, Angelinos who uh, funded all of the LAPD's unfunded programs. Uh, D.A.R.E. was one. Uh, the Special Weapons and Training was another program that was unfunded. Our mounted unit was not funded. A lot of crime prevention programs were not funded, so. This is where it gets insane, and there's basically no reporting on this. Because the LA City Council refused to fund Daryl Gates' ideas and allocate millions in taxpayer dollars to police programs like DARE, the Special Weapons and Tactics Team Program, aka SWAT, and most controversially, a militarized gang unit program called CRASH, CRASH standing for Community Resources Against Street Hoodlums. Chief Gates had to think outside the box, the box being the law and so created a private corporation called the Crime Prevention Advisory Council, a deceptively named company ran by an executive committee of 72 wealthy citizen stakeholders that included physicians, entertainment and sports world dignitaries, economists, accountants, realtors, lawyers, developers, bankers, and insurance executives, who all agreed to fund Daryl Gates' dream, which was obviously to militarize LAPD and turn the city back into what it was in the 1950s before gangs and drugs ruined everything. Daryl Gates somehow called the establishment of this corporation a community partnership, but it was a clever way of circumnavigating the checks and balances that city government is supposed to impose on its police department. The instrumentation at LAPD has always been poor because the city council won't come across with a few bucks in order to provide that instrumentation. And President Peguero's job in this whole equation was essentially to procure funding for Chief Gates by convincing rich private citizens to become stakeholders in the Crime Prevention Advisory Council. Uh, part of my duties were support uh, help finding funding sources uh, to keep LAPD's uh, various programs going. 